Hey guys, Vaughn here with the Vonster vlog and today I am following along with Belly Dance Fitness for Beginners with Nina and Vina. Hey cat. <laughs> um and this was actually the very first belly dance DVD that I ever followed along with. Um gosh, in ninth grade. Um like I discovered this and used it honestly as a coping mechanism dealing with uh, my dad passing away. Um, he had passed away and then I moved to Texas and with a new family um, <clears throat> and was in a completely different new school uh, and just everything. And uh, I had made an, a friend who also really enjoyed belly dance and that was something that we really connected over, you know, connected through over the years. And um, it was a lot of fun, but this is, this is what started the whole thing. And it was, ooh, when was this released? I don't know, 2001. So it still looks very kind of 90s uh, in their costuming and in the forced grimace smile sometimes of the uh, ladies as they're teaching, because it's narrated over. So the whole time they're dancing, they're just like, <laughs> which gets a genuine smile out of me sometimes. So I'm like, oh God, it's stage performing. Um, like you gotta put that smile on whenever you're, Oh boy. Uh, I just did the basic moves part with it. The fat burning I've found is kind of, I don't really like it. it last time I tried it like a few years ago, I didn't really like it. Uh, and I just, I guess I didn't like it enough to never try it again since then. So I guess I should go back and try that. But as far as the basic moves go, I actually do really recommend this even after, what year is it? 12 years? No. 16 years, even after 16 years, God, this is getting old. Oh. <laughs> um, I can apply things that I've learned to the same movements that I first experienced, you know, all those years ago. So like the snake arms and stuff, while it teaches you very, very basic snake arms, you can follow along with some of Rachel Bryce's workshops or Ariella's DVDs or um, uh, Zoe, like a lot of these other more recent recently produced, at least, um, belly dance DVDs and take the things that you learn from these other instructors and apply them to your practice with these guys. And I've actually found it's a really great way of just get going back to basics and almost like spot checking yourself. Um, and whenever I have friends come over and they're like, yeah, I want to try belly dance. This is always the DVD that I pick out because it's a little cheesy. It's just hard enough to make you sweat. Um, but it also gives you a taste of it. And it has some really lovely, uh, even in the cheesy, like borderline tacky sometimes um, costumes, uh, it has some really lovely extra dance footage that is very inspiring and like shows you what you can do even with just a couple of basic moves um, that it covers in the basic moves section. So I'm gonna set the sound size up, waving it around in the air. Um, vlog time. I shot my very first belly dance instructional uh, video today. Um, I'm not calling them belly dance tutorials because I don't know how much I'm actually going to end up like teaching in them because uh, I've never taught belly dance before except for that one time at a convention in Virginia like 10 years ago during Winter Storm Nemo. If Leave a comment if y'all remember that. Uh, but the person who was supposed to teach the belly dance panel got held up by the storm. So me and one other lady who were there and like we taught this like six year old girl <laughs> about belly dance because we were both like, we, you know, um, you know, watched belly dance DVDs prior to that, I guess. Um, but that was a lot of fun. But yeah, so other than that, I've never taught a belly dance um, tutorial or video or class before. So that was really exciting and fun to kind of, to, just to get the ice broken. Because it's something that, with with everything, we have to not be afraid to mess up or feel silly or make mistakes or, um, you know, to get good at something, you first have to be kind of not good at it. And that's all right. And I feel like, well, I'm not as bad as I could be. I'm not as good as I could be either. And that's where I'm trying to find is the line, uh, you know, ride that line of my comfort zone that I do feel like, I'm, yeah, I've got my, I've got a grip on this and the realm of feeling clumsy and everything. I like pushing and riding that line. So hopefully I'll be able to drag y'all, y'all along with me on that too. But, um, I do like, I love belly dance and I feel like that's kind of been 
reignited for me, but you know, getting to share it with you guys helps it be reignited for me. It's dredging up a lot of like old memories and like I'm kind of missing being part of a troop and going to drum jams and you know, other different things that I used to do, but it's, uh, maybe I'll find myself in situations like that again. I've also found myself looking at, like, Tribal Con and some of these different belly dance conventions. So, maybe I might have to go to one of those in 2019, if we can manage it. Um, we will see, because that would be so much fun to get, because I can't go to classes, but I could go to workshops, and that'd be neat. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that, there, there'll be links down below, both to the DVD, because it's, it's an old enough DVD now that you should be able to get it for pretty affordable, as well as, where did my shoes go? Oh, there they are. I wear these bad boys when I'm belly dancing, because this room, I don't know if you can tell, the floor behind me, splinters. It's a minefield, minefield of splinters. So I wear these little dance booties that have like, a heel and soles but they're super they're like dance socks kind of that have a sole and a heel on them but there'll be links to those down below as well um just the, i love them for like uh whenever i go to raves at conventions you know raver uh they don't let you run around barefoot uh that way you don't get like glass or shrapnel or something up in your toes uh i like wearing them whenever you know outside dancing so i don't like step on stickers but whenever I want a little bit more foot flexibility than what my boots or sandals would normally afford me. Uh, and I like them. They're nice. I just, I, I'm kind of just, my head's in the clouds right now. I had so much fun. I, I feel like I want to design a belly dance outfit for myself and like all kinds of stuff. But one thing at a time. I'm going to see if I can actually belly dance for like a month before getting too excited about it because for any any of y'all who followed along with me for a while now you can probably notice like I'm like and the yoga you, you, you're like flitting from flower to flower but I always manage to find my way back to flowers and every time I can't find my way back to yoga and belly dance and even aerial yoga too though who I'm not gonna be an upside down yet um it's like falling in love with it all over again and not just that, but it's finding these pieces of myself that I had to pack away. Be like, I'm sorry, this was a lot of fun, but I can't right now. Like, things that I pushed off to the side because work or life or whatever was a priority. It's getting to come back to that thing and unwrap it and fall in love with that part of myself again. I like who I am when I'm dancing. I like how I feel. I like how it makes me feel towards the rest of the world. Um, and... It's really nice for just a moment to not feel fat and incapable and weak and it's nice to feel all those little muscles in my stomach contracting as I like wiggle and I feel my arms and and to feel myself connect with the music like and it feels so good and that's something that I don't know where it got into my head that it's like Somehow by being overweight or by not like being a, a certain age or being a certain shape or height or whatever, um, that I wasn't allowed to feel good or feel proud to enjoy existing. And gosh, it feels good to just like clear the table of all that crap and get up and dance on the table. Like it feels good. <laughs> so hopefully I, I can share that with you guys a little bit because it forces me to hold on to it just a little bit longer before putting it back in the box and coming back to it next time. Maybe we can, I can carry that with myself. Maybe we can carry that with ourselves a little bit more throughout the day um, instead of having to keep it in that box on a shelf. So that being said though, I get back to work. So I will see y'all in my next video. Please leave a comment. I'd love to hear, I love hearing you guys' thoughts. I'm not as good at replying as I would like to be, but I do read every single one of your messages. Um, it's just, hate typing on my phone and I'm never in the same room as my wireless keyboard, apparently. Um, and so like I try at least once a week to go through and reply to everybody. But thank you though for, for spending your time with me and for hearing me and for just hopefully having fun with me. So I'll see y'all in my next video. And until then, keep on keeping on. Bye. <laughs>